In the heart of Utah's desert, where the sun blazes mercilessly during the day and the starry nights give way to mysterious events, lies Skinwalker Ranch, which is a silent enigma in itself. It stands as a beacon of mystery, waiting to be solved by those who are brave enough. Hello there, and welcome to our channel, The Joe's Show, where we discuss and unravel strange mysteries that challenge our perception of the unknown. The GPS data from that rocket is wrong too. It says the rocket didn't go high at all. Known for its strange sightings and events, Skinwalker Ranch has time and again caused even the skeptics to ponder what they consider to be real and fake. But what do you think? Is it just a place with strange lores and legends? Or is it an opportunity to challenge the boundaries of what we know about the universe? Let us know in the comment section down below. Drawn towards all the speculations and intrigue of portals and the tribal legends of black magic, a diverse group of researchers and scientists have come together, driven by a mix of their expertise and curiosity. Their mission is not just scientific, but also deeply personal. Will they be able to answer the inexplicable phenomenon that long haunts the ranch, or will they run into something that halts their expedition? Under the scorching desert sun, the team gets ready and sets up their equipment. Travis, a seasoned physicist with a knack for unraveling mysteries. So, what if we go out in the east field to the mesa and bombard it with a signal that we can easily measure? meticulously outlines the plan that he had in mind to his team. Maybe we send 1.6 gigahertz at it. And then we go out to the mesa on the triangle side. His idea is to use a 1.6 gigahertz radio signal, which is usually used by the military across countries and for wireless communication, and direct it towards a mesa in the east field. Something in the something sky right above there. the rocket right here. Yeah, look at that. Look at the light. According to the suggestion of previous reports, the East Field has been a hotspot for the strange paranormal activities. And according to the hypothesis of the team, So if he does receive it, that could mean some kind of direct passageway through the solid rock mesa, like a portal, made it possible. It's a worthwhile experiment to see what happens. If there is indeed any portal, the signal will go on to penetrate through the solid rock and manifest on the other side near the triangular plateau, which is just as mysterious as the east field. Something in the flare? Yeah, moving up here from the center up towards the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Oh, what is that? Being witness to multiple UAP sightings, it's going to be a long shot for the team, but it's one worth taking. Jim Royston, the team's resident drone pilot and tech wizard, is tasked with playing an important role in the team's expedition this time. His LiDAR-equipped drone is not just a mere tool, but an extension of his keen eye and sharp mind, which will be crucial in helping the team to detect anomalies, whether it be electromagnetic fields, gravitational disturbances, or maybe something that the team members haven't even conceived of yet. Starting broadcasting in three, two, one. We are broadcasting. Uh... The expedition starts with the radio signal humming to life as Eric gets ready to monitor the team's equipments, with Brian standing at a high vantage point, scanning the horizon for any signs of activity. Hope seems to be at an all-time high, as the team might indeed be. Let's look right look there. Oh wow. my gosh. We, we, we've run into interference in that spot before. On the brink of discovering something extraordinary as they believe, hours pass by yet the desert seeming to be eerily quiet echoes out the occasional chirp of an equipment or the distant call of a bird. Yet, just as we are made to think that this might be it, Eric starts to call Travis over to the monitor in a frenzy. I want your eyes on this. Oh wow. my gosh. That gap. Well, the same spot as the photogrammetry spire. He excitedly points to the screen displaying real-time data, which shows fluctuations in the broadcast signal corresponding with faint blips on the radar. This pattern baffles the team as it defies explanation. When Jim said the LiDAR device was finally operational... Meanwhile, across the desert, Jim's drone maneuvering the night sky searches for any anomalies as carefully as a hawk. Yeah, and there it is up there. There it is. So let's just watch this thing move. And again, it's daytime. Suddenly, in a turn of events, a streak of light appears on the horizon. A fast-moving object streaks across the sky faster than a jet. Yeah, it 
lights on. Yeah. While Burdett photographed each launch at a... The cameras set up by the team start to click and turn, capturing every movement of the anomaly. Light there that's moving. Where? Yeah, we got it. it there it is right there. No, Eric, we got something moving right overhead of us right now. The UAP seems to move with a fluidity that defies conventional physics with its erratic flight. We're going to start the experiment with a practice run. Jim Royston will be flying his LiDAR drone between the in and out points of the Mesa. The question is whether the LiDAR... The LiDAR-equipped drone operated by Jim records every movement of the anomaly, picking up fluctuations in the electromagnetic field that mirror the theoretical models of a dimensional portal. Could this mean that the Native American legends about there being interdimensional portals in the ranch were actually true all along? After an eventful expedition, the team gathers together to pour over their observations, and the findings are groundbreaking. Some of this area here, you can see this is the road that makes the triangle, and the triangle looks about like, like this. The events that unfolded in front of their eyes confirm the existence of anomalies that defy traditional scientific explanation. Yet they are left with more questions than answers. On close inspection of the footage taken by the drone. And then watch this thing at the bottom coming up. You see what's happening? Yeah, you got three things on the camera. Here. Four things. There's one over here. here. The team is able to locate four different UAPs streaking across the sky. However, what stuns them further is when Travis points out the fact that the UAP seemed to appear and disappear at a point in the triangle where Jim's LiDAR-equipped drone had previously detected a circular ring with a black void in the center. The existence of a portal to another dimension seems to be tantalizingly close with Eric's detailed analysis of the broadcast signals hinting at intelligent modulation. All these seem to point only in one direction. Did the team actually initiate a possible form of communication that transcended the known human boundaries? The ranch with its ancient legends and modern mysteries remains a beacon of curiosity and mystery that only motivates the brave researchers in their quest to seek answers, as Travis points out that the journey has only just begun for him and his team. Motivated by the shared resolve of continuing their research and sharing their findings with the world, the unyielding experiments of the team stand as a testament to human curiosity and an urge to reveal the secrets of the universe, one mystery at a time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Meta Description The team of researchers conduct an expedition at the ranch to find out about the existence of portals that would coincide with the beliefs of the Native American theories. However, what they capture during the process leaves them stunned and searching for answers. Watch the video to find out all about what happens.